What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Great X Gaming. I am Jax, and we are back with Okami. When we last left off, uh, we had just gotten through Kamiki Village and done a huge... You okay, buddy? Heave! Heave! This is weird. My mind really wants to shift this rock. My body will cooperate. It's like I'm made of lead. Could this be a case of demonic possession? I sure hope not. Oh! Apparently, yes! Really? Okay, buddy. Short thing. Okay, that's what it was. Stop! Yeah, okay, so the problem is, for some reason, recently my controller's been giving me big issues where the right bumper doesn't work half the time. There we go. So that if it flickers between the painting and not, that's why. Phone, please! Not now! Uh, when we last left off, we had just released the village from its stone prison. And now we were going onward. Uh, I'm actually really happy about this. I have had a major headache most of the day, so playing something kind of calm and beautiful with some amazing music and some just really chill background is really nice right now. Well, Amy, you suddenly started glowing. That means your divine attributes can be enhanced. Well, you should look excited. Here, I'll show you what I mean. Let's take a stab at enhancing your divine attributes. I'm gonna open the fan menu where you'll see your divine attributes. Use the praise you've accumulated to enhance any attribute you want. Uh, life energy, ink on hand, astral pouch. Well, I only have enough of these, so let's boost my ink. Well, is it all coming back to you? Or what? Huh? It's hard not to know. It's hard to know it's such a small enhancement. All right, listen up. This is one big step for the new and improved Amaterasu. Keep up the good work. Oh, I almost forgot. I better check in on that dude. Ah, I feel light as a feather now. Sadly, that doesn't make it any easier to shift this boulder. Who went and blocked the only path out of town? There's no way I can get back to the city now. Say, pup, your owner lives here in the village, right? So you must know that guy, Suzano. Can you get him to come here? They say he's the descendant of the legendary Hiranagi. If anyone can do something about this rock, it's him. That's strange. This boulder wasn't here before. Well, before I go and get the asshole... Hey... Power slash just isn't enough. Maybe we gotta bring Susanna along and see what. God damn it, he's useless. Oh. Ooh, orange. Come here. All right, let's see if we can wake this bastard up. Oranges or apples? I don't know. Boop. What the? Uh. Oh, I feel so well rested. I plan to meditate underground, but fell fast asleep. Huh? Who are you? And what business do you have with Susano, the greatest warrior ever? Yeah, no. Do even the beasts know of my great exploits now? Well, Fido, I'm not looking for apprentices. Go back to the mountains and play with your monkey friends. Really? How dare make you like you interrupt my meditation? Get a load of this guy. All brown and no brains. Quit messing around and come with us. <sighs> huh? You stuck in here again? Quit bugging me, you, you bug. I told you, don't call me a bug. Come on, Emmy. We're taking him with us. <laughs> what do you think you're doing? Put me down this instant. What will the neighbors think? Come on, you idiot. You made you mutt. 
You brought me all the way here just to touch yourself against me? Then prepare to taste the wrath of my sword, Toen Boku. Hold on a minute. You're the legendary Suzano? Yep, none other than Suzano, the greatest warrior who ever lived. And by the way, never interrupt warriors engaged in battle. But I've got a favor to ask you. This huge boulder blocking the path is really getting in my way. Can't you do something about it? What? Come on, please. I mean, you are Nagi's descendant, aren't you? Surely one stone's no match for your mighty skills. Uh, it certainly is not beyond my ability. Really? Great! Okay, then. No time like the present. Go for it! Wait. A boulder of this size is not very easy even for me. I shall require my utmost focus to magnify the power of my sword. I shall retire to the training grounds to make preparations. Wait for my return. Oh, Jesus. Huh. I wonder. I've never seen the guy train ever. God damn it. I am. I know I told that merchant I could help. A boulder that size? I don't care if I'm of legendary bloodline. It's just too big! Uh, oh no, I can't believe I've run out of sake at a time like this. This won't do. That's it for today. I'll just have to train tomorrow. Oh my fucking god, I hate you. Oh! Hello! There's a peach up there, or a flower. This must be where she ages the sake. Sounds good, doesn't it? I right, so she, she's still outside, isn't she? Alright. <gasps> Ow. Hi. Oh, hello there. I've got a bit of a problem, you know? I have to polish rice in the millhouse before I can use it, but the mill's broken. Oh, okay, monster broke it the other day. Okay. Yeah, yep. Okay, I gotta fix the mill. I was trying to make good sake without clean rice. Wow, that's too bad. I should never have let that monster try my new thunder <laughs> Really? Don't get me monster sake, they're trouble enough! Sheesh, what was she thinking? Anyway, I guess this is a matter of fixing something that's broken. It sounds like something you can handle with your brush, Amy. Yep. Oh no! There we go. She's so skinny! What's this? The mill's been mended? Who on earth did that? I'd completely given up on the idea of making my sake. But now I can get on with polishing the rice. Well, no time like present. I better get started. Are those lotus slices on her head? No. The faces on those, uh, like, from a distance, they look like the meme faces from Tumblr. Hey. You're interested in how to brew sake, are you, Snowy? Well, this thing's here for polishing the rice, you see? Oh, I'll tell you what. I've got something I think you'll like. There's just some leftover stock from the store, but I made it myself. It's called Visa of the Gods. Oh. Are you even old enough to drink, Snowy? No, 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 no. Come with me, sake. Come on, let's go. Uh, here's your fucking sake. Huh. Hold it right there, Fido. That smell. Is that Kushi's famous homebrewed sake? Yes, now get your ass fucking up and do some useful shit. F -f Fido, my friend. Did you bring me some Kushi sake? Oh, what a glorious day! Ah, good old sake. A man without drink is like a warrior without his trusty sword. In fact, it is said that Nogi himself relied on the power of sake in his battle with the dreaded Orochi. It's also clear now. Let the training begin. I'll just try a bit of my usual routine. Okay, here I come! Alright, oh, I have to help him. Because he's fucking useless. Feast your eyes on this. Suzano style. 
Exploding implosion. Really? Eh. Uh... Huh? Yeah! Yep. Susano style. Exploding implosion. Uh, that's amazing. You sliced that huge rock clean in half. You really are something. Look at him, he's so confused. Wow, I didn't think you could do it, Ops. Me either. Eh, I mean, of course I could. <sighs> After all, I am Susano, the greatest warrior ever. You weren't just showing off when you said you're Nagi's descendant. Someone like you have no trouble fighting monsters off, huh? Well, anyway, thanks a lot. Now I can start doing business again. Did you say m monsters? Oh, uh, of course, no problem. This is just a job for the most skilled warrior in all of Nippon. Yep, I shall rid these lands of their vile presence. Just sit back and watch the great Susano work his magic. <laughs> okay, bye, Susano. He shouldn't get all puffed up. He's nothing without us. Think he'll be okay? The monsters outside the village are nasty. Ah, Gloria Sumatarasu. What a pleasure to witness your heroic deeds. I am in awe. When you cleave the boulder into two, my heart skipped a beat. To see your skill with the brush is to be with witness to great art. Yeah? So do we get a reward or something, lady? I hardly think your participation had any impact, little bug. It's Eason! Eason, Eason, Eason! Stop calling me a bug! I'll crawl back into your kimono if you say it that again. My word! <laughs> I'm relax, lady. Furball here is more comfy anyway. I'm not trusting. Get off my head! Let's get back to that reward thing you were talking about. Come on, Amy. Put your paw up or something. Go on, shake. <laughs> I must apologize. I would like to reward you, but I'm afraid I haven't the power. I can barely muster enough strength to make a flower bloom. Though my body stands firmly here within the confines of the village, my roots spread far and wide, protecting remote areas outside. These parts of me are known as guardian saplings. They collect the praise and adoration that gives me strength. <sighs> the recent evil is eroding the guardian saplings. If this continues, I will wilt away as well, and my power will vanish. Worse yet, the dark power grows stronger with each passing day. Life as we know it will be consumed utterly in no time. Oh man, this is getting heavy. Amaterasu is asleep. Great and powerful Amaterasu, could I be so bold as to request your assistance in rejuvenating these guardian saplings by lifting the curse that enslaves them? I shall mark the locations of nearby saplings on your map. Let's do it. Okay. I have grown tired. She's got a butt cut out. Really? Really? I haven't even the strength to speak now. I hope that my request has not fallen on deaf ears. Matarasu, may the fresh scent of flowers protect you always. The butt cut out is unnecessary game. <sighs> Meh. I'm always itching for a good fight, but... I sure don't want to poke my nose into this mess. Still, I'm stuck with Furball here. Till I get all the brush skills. Anyway, Emmy's the god and all. What could possibly go wrong? Hey, did you listen to her, Furball? You get the rest of the brush techniques. Save the world. And I'll steal and learn them. Yep, that's the ticket. At any rate, let's start by following those marks. On the map! Roof! 
Okay. Hey, Mary should. What's up? Okay. Okay then. Guess I better offload some stock before heading back. Feel free to take a look if you've been sent to do the shopping, pup. Yeah. Feed bag. Okay, there we go. Hip hop hoop! Now we're finally getting into the meat of the game, which I'm excited about. I mean, don't get me wrong, the village is quirky and charming and all, but I, I like adventure rather than infinite cutscenes. Huh? You probably know this already, I mean, but this here is Shinsu Field, the most beautiful field in Nippon. At least it's supposed to be. But ever since that incident, I've been getting a bad vibe. We better watch where we're going. You can look at the map. Let's pay attention to the map. I should have checked out what was actually... Oh, there we go. Nice. Give me that money. What the fuck? <sighs> Amy. That's the first guy in sapling mapped on a map. It's supposed to be a place for travelers to rest and recuperate, but just look at it. Looks like you'd fall over at any moment. This place is definitely cursed from the looks of it. The place where you've always taken hold, luring monsters from far and wide are known as cursed zones. I've never seen one this big. It's with it all the plant life in the air, even that big tree. It take a monster with powers beyond even a god to do this. That tree's an offshoot of Securia, a natural protector. Maybe the natural beauty here would return if we revived it, but how the heck would we do that anyway? <sighs> My guess is by fighting these things. Damn it. Hell yeah! Look at me go. Kicking ass all over the place. Whoop! What's up, motherfucker? <sighs> Kicking ass left and right. Potatoes! Potatoes are good! Okay. Oh, there's a face over here. But first... What is... Oh, it's a statue. Hey -ya! Boom! Mid-air, motherfuckers. Oh, there was a hidden thing there. Sapling. Are you okay? How do I, how do I? Well, yeah, look at that, Emmy. This guardian sapling's a wreck. So that's why Sakia has hurt me so bad. I meant the actual beauty return if you drive that tree, but how can you possibly do that? You need a special power that can make it with a tree. Okay. Thank you. Oh, I guess there's nothing there. I thought there was like treasure or something hidden there. I got all excited. Can I just cut this? Damn, that's a lot of money. Here, here, ha, ha, ha. Hey, 
Are you still- are you No, you're- you're good! Bap. Bap. Oh, hey. Feed pouch. Nice. Hello, good sir. How are you still alive? What just happened? I was out here chopping wood and cleaning with nature as usual. I heard a loud rumbling, like an earthquake from the lake. And a huge gust of wind blew up from nowhere. I don't know what happened next. When I came to, it was like this. My art workshop was just across the stream there, but it up and vanished when those curses unappeared. The earth must be angry. All I want is to live with nature in peace, man. But now I can't. I don't have a figure running from the lake toward Kamiki. Whatever it was, man, I hope Mother kept them safe. Alright, so we should go to the lake. Let's go. Neom. I wish. Alright, we're actually going to leave this episode off here. But uh, we're going to pick up right where we leave off here in the next episode with Hana Valley making our way towards the lake. If you like the video, you know what to do. Like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. If you want to buy me a coffee, links down below. I'd greatly appreciate it. And uh, thanks for watching. Later, y'all.